Welcome to EK Tutor. Question 36 is asked from subject Database Management System. Marks 2. Consider a relational table R that is in 3NF but not in BCNF, which one of the following statement is true. Let's first reverse the concept of normalization form. 1NF. If all the element of R is in atomic form, that is, all the elements uh, doesn't have a multiple values 2nf if r is in 1nf and no partial dependency is present partial dependency means all the attribute is fully functionally dependent on the primary key attribute it is not the case that it is partially dependent on the single attribute suppose there is a table x y z and x y is both uh, both is the primary key both including both we form the primary key then it is not the case that y gives z or z is dependent only on the y it should be fully functionally dependent on x and y both so the relation is an rnf if there is no partial dependency is present 3nf if r is in 2nf and no transistive dependency is present transistive dependency means if the relation has if the two non prime attribute is uh, if there is a dependency, if there is a functional dependency between the two non prime attribute, then there should be a transistive dependency. Because uh, primary key attribute, prime, prime attribute are those which is a set inside in the primary key. And uh, primary key uniquely identify the attribute. So there is a dependency. Suppose x is a primary key. So x is a, uh, so y is dependent on x. Now, if there is a y and z, both are non-prime attribute and there is a dependency y gives z, that is z is dependent on y, so there is a transistive dependency is present. That means this relation is not in 3NF. So, there is no transistive dependency is present. BCNF. If R is in BCNF, then R should be in 3NF and all the attribute present in LHS should be candidate key. Now, option A. R has a non-travel functional dependency x gives A, where x is not a super key and A is a prime attribute. Now, understand whether this uh, relation is in 3NF, 2NF, 1NF or BCNF. x gives A and x is not a super key. x is in LHS and x is not a super key. So, it must not be in a BCNF because any attribute, any functional dependency that is present any attribute in the LHS should be a super key. So, it is not in a BCNF. X gives A and A is a prime attribute. If A is not a prime attribute, then it is not in 3NF also. But here, A is a prime attribute. So, this dependency exists in 3NF because X is a not a super key and A is a prime, a is a prime attribute that is a part of a prime attribute. So, there is no transistive dependency is present. Option B, R is a non-travel functional dependency X gives A, where X is not a super key and A is non-prime attribute. Think non-prime attribute is not a part of a primary key and X is not a super key, but X is not a proper subset of any key. That means X is also a non-prime attribute because it is not a proper subset of any key and A is non-prime attribute. So, if there are two non-prime attribute, if there is a dependency X give A is present, then the relation is not in 3NF as it is a transistive dependency. As there should be a some super key for this relation that gives X and this dependency also exists X gives A and A is not a part of a primary key that is A is non-prime attribute. So, it must be a transistive dependency. Option B is also false. Option C, R has a non-travel functional dependency X gives A, where X is not a super key and A is non-prime attribute and X is a proper subset of some key. If X is not a super key and A is non-prime attribute, then X is a part of a primary key. So, it must be a partial dependency. This is a form of a partial dependency. So, the relation not in 2NF. Option C is false.
option D. A cell in R holds a set instead of an atomic value, then the R is not in 1 and F. So, option A is the correct answer.